USA in white receiving this, the second semi-final from the De La Beach Open, part of the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour, and the first point goes the way of the Czech Republic. Excellent serve to fool April Ross. And a bright start for the number one seeds. Oh, and that is a wonderful block from Barbara Hermanova. And those of you that may have had uh, Ross and Kleiman for the win in an easy fashion, they're going to have to do it the hard way. That's an excellent block for Kleiman, who's been going over most blocks as well during this tournament. That's a nice play. Kleiman just rolling to the middle. A little bit of confusion. Just like that, the USA back on level terms. Excellent. You don't see that very often on the beach, on the sand, I guess we should say, as we're in an indoor facility. Very nicely played. Hermanova working that ball, even though... Huge swing from Ross. At one time had one of the hardest jump serves on the tour. Certainly has one of the hardest swings as he bounces that one. <laughs> Clever roll shot from Hermanova. Another big swing as Ross hammers the ball cross court. Very nice play from Kleiman. Gets lots of height, plenty of room then for Ross to come in, and no one putting a block up. Trouble for Czech Republic. Yes! Their toughest test was against Kim Berens and Sandra Littlinger. Of Germany, 27-25, 24. It's been a, a stiffer test for the USA to get this far. Having come through the qualifiers, they beat Emily Day and Brittany Hotchever of the United States in three sets. In a game with a little bit of controversy, as we see that one again. First time ever that a beach volleyball game it was interrupted by a fire alarm. After that, through Pool D, but a couple of close ones. Eight matches in all played by the USA to get this far in the tournament. And they're showing no signs of any fatigue at the moment as they match the Czech Republic point for point, heading into the lead off of this great swing again from Ross. The Czech Republic really do need to try and shut down the power angle, make Ross play a shot. Good dig. No one, no one, no one. Watch it. Out, out, out. And the gator isn't going to work because that one travels past the sideline. Okay. A little too much on that one from Kleinman who is the out and out blocker in this partnership, giving Ross the opportunity to scurry around behind her to keep the ball off the sand where needed. Well, Ross to 
deciding to put it straight back over, not because she wanted to, but having to, and that one's missed on the baseline. It was close, but not close enough. It was the right idea, had a look, rolls it over the top of Ross, but doesn't find the baseline. Ross focusing herself for the jump float. Good up, chases on for Kleinman. Sukova doing well. And Kleinman makes the block. And a timeout is called by the Czech Republic. Good wrap off of the block from Slukova. This is not going to be an easy game for the USA by any stretch. And even though the USA are seeded 13 and the Czech Republic seeded 1, there's certainly not a 12th place gap between these two teams in terms of the way they're playing. And that's another poor serve, it has to be said, by Hermanova as we go into the technical that's timeout. That one foot float serve. Guess it's being used because the sand perhaps a little bit compacted here, a little bit harder than you would normally see. So all the players take a little rest and there's some interesting entertainment, some little bit of break dancing going on in the corners. Some entertainment for the fans and hopefully you're being entertained wherever you're watching from, whether it be from Peru to Cyprus. The USA, or indeed the Czech Republic. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Kleinman with the serve, USA leading by three in this first set of this women's semi-final. Good leave by Ross, not that she could have got onto it. There's a challenge coming though from the Czech Republic. Baz van der Maiden signals out and now signals for the challenge. Way off the net, going for that cross-court angle. Didn't look as if the line moved in any way. Or didn't look as if the ball caught it. Indeed not. An unsuccessful challenge for the Czech Republic. Yeah. Ross to serve again. Yeah. Always helps when you've got a big blocker who can do that, watching the ball, dealing with the overpass and putting the USA now five in front. Great put away from Kleinman. Watch it. It's not caught the line, are the Czech Republic going to go for it and challenge again? It doesn't look like they're going to. Well, it certainly didn't catch the line. Did it catch the block? Kleinman says no, play continues. And the USA now lead by six. Hey! 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 
going to have to roll it higher than that to get over Kleiman. And that's what the USA have been working very well. Players rolling Kleiman, having to go almost to the top of the antenna. And that gives Ross time to go after the ball. That wasn't high enough. It's a good chase. It will come back cross court, but the angle too tight. And it doesn't come. touch good defense as well from the Czech Republic oh that was a shame Slukova just lost her footing and then couldn't go after the ball and those of you just watching and wondering hold on that ball hit the block what's going on well there's a new rule being tested here with the block not counting as a touch and that's a shame for Slukova, as she couldn't then go after the ball. Hey, you An error from the Czech Republic, and it's now set point for the USA. Poke is good enough to stave off set point for the moment. Well, that looked to be going long and Kleiman's played. It'll be an ace serve for the Czech Republic. No call coming from April Ross. Another set point saved. A bit of confusion. USA playing at Seagulls. But they do get the set point in the end and take the open. Second set underway, Czech Republic under pressure, trailing by one set to nothing, and now by one point to nothing. against a big blocker with not much room to work with trying to force the issue hey, that's better and really difficult for Ross to get anywhere near that that would have required Kleinman to turn and play this one but Kleinman still learning her game really on the beach. Pokey works. For the Czech Republic, it's almost a case of the lesser of two evils here against the USA at the moment serving against Ross is proving to be a bit of a lost cause so they have changed up they're going after Kleinman but then Kleinman can do that going over the top and finding angles that the Czech Republic can't deal with Look over, getting that one past Kleinman to keep the scores 
Steven. That was really good to see from Ross. She goes up and makes out as if she's going to swing hard onto the ball and then just goes with the roll, keeps the Czech Republic held in position. They can't then go and chase it down. for Ross, she took a couple of steps, just didn't back herself to actually fully go after the ball. And so it's side out for the Czech Republic. Just watch Ross, bomb the pictures, one, two, and then, ah, oh, just, just gives up on it. Maybe as a player of her experience, realizing it was a lost cause. Cross-court block signaled against Klein and Lyon against Ross. It doesn't quite work out as Ross is able to put that one away. If only they changed it around and she jumped into the cross, may well have got it. A lot of talk at the moment about uh, April Ross's new partner. She's really making a name for herself on the tour and also building up a huge fan base across the world. <laughs> bang, bang, Ross puts another one down and the USA extend their lead. Beautiful heart with the ball by Kleiman. Shouting to Kleiman, I'm here. She was indeed there. Puts the ball away past Lukova. The ball is The ball is done. 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 Ja, het is een uh, mooi moment als we uh, weten dat uh, Alice Kleinman de lange speelt, ja, ja, ja. nummer 2 van de uh, USA. Ja, ja, ja. Ja. Dit is haar eerste FIVB evenement daar ja. hier. En dit is haar negende wedstrijd. Twee keer gewonnen in de country tour, daarna de kwalificaties doorgekomen en inmiddels dus minimaal een vijfde plek. En dat is toch wel bewonderingswaardig. Zij heeft een seizoen gespeeld in Amerika. En nu dus met Echo Ross op weg naar Tokyo 2020. Maar dan geven ze beide een ongelooflijk applaus. Echo Ross en Alex Kleiman. En of course, Ross and Kleiman back on to court. So to Hermanova and Slukova. Hermanova and Slukova with some work to do if they're going to get back into this one. Kleiman with the serve. Again, the target Slukova. They've gone after her for the entire match so far. Good chase. And another one. A down ball opportunity, well taken, that's good play from the Czech Republic. It was a down ball, it was an opportunity to go on three, decided that they could go on two. Great pitch cap from both Kleiman and Ross, but a good understanding between uh, Slukova and Hermanova. You don't get two points for hitting the ball hard. It's just got to go and land in court or go off of the block and out. Go off of the defender and out. Very nicely done by Kleinman. Straight arms, use of the legs, extending through the ball, and then Slukova rattling that one off of Kleinman and down. Another huge 
hit from Ross. Great arm swing, gets right through the ball. Watched by Ross. Well, that one not finding its marks probably would have had it covered. Yes, they open up a big lead again. The serve again. Oh, that's brilliantly placed. You get a feel for the difference between the two teams when you see plays like that. Ross not just serving to go in between the players, he's serving to a position to make it really difficult for Slukova. She's having to go away from her partner to get to the ball. Couldn't actually get there. The problem for the Czech Republic with their serving is they've served at players. And now the unforced errors are creeping up on the Czech Republic as the set score begins to creep away from them. You have to say that the block touch change that's being tested here can only surely be a benefit for the game. And for those of you that are purists, maybe you might feel that actually it's worth a shout because that's great work from the USA. They've slowed the ball down. They've got it into a position now where they can attack back and have the full number of touches. And the pokey gets the job done. Whereas in the past, they would have been going over with two touches after the block. Well, in the lead up to this rule change, something that's been discussed, you know, I've been chatting with players about it. Some players welcome it, some players are saying no, they completely disagreed with it because uh, you're rewarding a team who don't, put, who don't make a block. Whereas uh, some players' views were actually, no, you are rewarding the team. You're rewarding a team who are able to shut down the other team who don't put the ball on the sand. Why should a team get a side out opportunity with three touches, only for the team to get a touch and then only get two to get it back? Are you keeping the advantage with the team that's attacking? Certainly at the moment, it's advantage USA. One set up, six points up. Herman over with the serve, still going after Ross. But that's a better serve and it's the serving pressure that really does need Serving pressure, so important in volleyball, indoor volleyball, beach volleyball, from beginner to this level. That one's gone wide. Did it catch the block on the way out? No, it didn't. Well, they think there was a touch. There'll be a, there'll be a, um, a challenge coming. They walked off. They actually had looked at the referee. But credit to Baz van der Maiden calling a challenge, wet but double blow on the whistle to say that there's no use, not your serve, it's the other team's serve. So the question is, did it touch Kleinman as it went wide? We're going to find out. Oh, yes, it did. Huge touch off of the little fingers. So a good challenge from the Czech Republic. Yeah. Czech Republic. They have the serve and the point. No, 
the massive swing. Breaking off of the net, not really working for the Czech Republic because April Ross is going to swing away at everything. And therefore, the break has to be in so that someone has to break into the power line. Great touch, but it's not going to come to where Ross can chase after it. It's Lukova beginning to find her range now as she tries to tool the block of Kleinman. Line block signalled. That means Slukova's going to sit in the cross court. But that also meant that Hermanova had to take the line away, and she didn't. Hermanova taking the line, but jumping into the cross. She actually jumped away from where she said she was going to block. Unless, of course, they've changed it round, and two means line and one means cross. watch that she knew what was coming and unfortunately for her trying to win the point which is unusual really she's in the, they're out of system that she's moving away from where she wants to be she's not in a good position to have the hit and she's tried to find a winner instead of just making it difficult for the other team and try and reset unforced error gives the Czech Republic a point Good recovery by Kleinman. Looked as if it rolled up her arm. Another good touch. But this time Hermanova makes sure it doesn't come back. And if that was a game of squash, the Czech Republic held the box. And it was the USA running around behind, but couldn't get the point. One more big. Excellent defense again by April Ross. Kleiman taking the line, Ross taking cross court, and Ross sticking in cross court and being prepared to run the line down, which is great because she's got a big blocker, so going over the top of her means the ball's going to be in the air that little bit longer. Some teams will sit in the middle and then run to where their designated area is instead of holding that position to start with. Slikova also able to put the ball away with ease as that time Kleinman doesn't get in the way of it. That's twice now. Ross has done that, moved, jumped to her left, and then hit the ball back to the right. See that a lot indoors as well, when players think that they are in a bad position and they're traveling into the court, then hit it back into where the block was. And give away a point. Big swing from Ross again. She's just too hot to handle. And it's now a match point for the USA. Ross will serve, Kleinman will stay at the net. Czech Republic have to side out. Good up. Ross for the match. And the cut good enough from Slukova to keep them in it. Brilliant play. Hard four points. Well, now sand in the face of Ross means she needs to go and get the towel, get it out, get some water. Deep breaths from Kleinman, who's played a beautiful game so far. Nice work by Slukova. This is a lovely cut.
four opportunities to side out and put their place in the final. Three opportunities to side out and put their place in the final. The USA won't be bothered by that. It's one of the things you just can't legislate for. Ball could have just stayed on the Czech Republic side as it is. They have an ace. They are within three. But it's still very much advantage the USA. Kleinman for the game. Now Ross for glory. Oh, brilliant from Slukova, but it's not going to come back. And it is the USA who put their place in the final. They've beaten the Czech Republic by two.